Hey Owen family and welcome to day, is anyone actually keeping count anymore? Of your next Orange Theory home workouts. Are you ready to push, pull and lift your way through lockdown? Well, here's a great chance. 34 minute of an upper body strength and core workout. It's gonna be the perfect balance of strength training and cardio to help boost your energy, build that muscle and get those endorphins flowing during this lockdown. We're gonna be celebrating St. George's today. So the theme of the day is some red or white if you've got it with you or in the case of Jason, dressing up as a dragon. Let's celebrate St. George's Day with this great upper body and core workout. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you sure? Team, let's go and smash out this workout. Enjoy St. George's Day and have a great lockdown. to progressively warm up the body with a six minute dynamic warm up. We're gonna have six warm up exercises, each for one minute a piece. So we're gonna start stationary with an alternating T-spine rotation. Feet are hip width apart. You're gonna hinge at your hips, keep your core tight, opening up one arm at a time, and you're gonna follow your fingertips with your eyes. From there, we're gonna come into an upright position for knees to elbows, fingertips by the ears, elbows nice and wide, but our core is tight and engaged, driving the knee up to meet the opposite elbow, slow and controlled. From there, we're gonna take it to a standing star reach. So your arms are nice and wide and your feet are nice and wide. You're gonna drive your hips back as you reach your fingertips over to the toes. Again, keeping that core tight and your chest nice and tall. Progressing from here, we're gonna take it to toy soldiers. So your arms are Frankenstein out and you're kicking your toes up towards your fingertips. You wanna kick as high as you can without crunching forward. Stay nice and tall and upright. From there, even more dynamic, we're gonna move into mimicking a jump rope. So you're light on your feet, you're alternating side to side and you're bringing your arms into the equation. We're gonna finish the warm up with our most dynamic move yet, the power skip. So you're gonna drive the knee and the opposite arm up as you explode off the ground and get that body ready for our next block. All right, Didi, we ready to warm up? Ready. Let's do it.
Hey, John, how do you feel about working that upper body? Love it. All right, well, then let's get to it. We've got eight minutes to work through five different exercises. Your goal is going to complete a minimum of two rounds. So we're going to alternate between some pressing and some pulling movements, starting with a pressing motion, that single arm shoulder press. All we need for this block, a backpack full of nice heavy books. We've already got one ready to go, so go ahead and grab that, John. We'll get right into our standing set position, making sure that straight line is from your ear all the way down to that ankle. Soft bend in your knees, core nice and tight. One arm at a time, you're going to press it directly up towards the ceiling. Slow and controlled, return back to about that 90 degree angle. Your option, you can always take one of those books out of that bag if you need to make it a little bit lighter. 12 on one side and then 12 on the other. Our next exercise is going to be an ISO squat with a front raise. So back to that same standing set position, make sure both hands are on top of that top handle on that backpack. Sit into your heels first, getting into that ISO squat, and then raise both arms out in front of you. This is really going to Challenge your core, so you want to make sure you keep it nice and tight. Keep those arms nice and straight, but make sure shoulders and ears are not friends, so you keep them down and away from those ears. Your option, you can come up out of that squat, or again, you can lighten up the weight that is in your hands. Our next exercise of front press, right back to that same standing set position. Now grab a hold of the sides of that bag, and what you're going to do is extend your arms out in front, squeeze through those chest muscles, holding it for just a second out in front of you, and then bring it back to the starting position. Try to keep your hands level with your shoulders. Again, reduce your range of motion or reduce the weight if you need to. Final pulling motion is going to be our upright row. This time we're gonna take it into an iso squat. So feet are a little bit wider, toes point out just slightly. Again, sit a little bit into those heels, keep that chest up, and then you're going to pull that bag up towards your chin. Elbows come out to the side again, focusing on making sure your ears and your shoulders don't get too close to each other. Option again, take the squat out of it or reduce the weight. We have one more exercise. We're gonna give that upper body a break by working through a sumo squat to oblique crunch. Same squatting position we were just in, and he's simply gonna crunch to one side and then crunch back to the other side. We've got 12 total here, alternate back and forth, and then you're gonna start back from the top. Let's get to work.
to get your heart rate up. Yes or yes, John? I mean, what other option do I have? Uh, that's what we're gonna do in this next 10 minute block. We have three different plank variations, all of them on an incline. So you will need a step stool, a box, or you can even use the stairs in your house as long as it's nice and sturdy. So again, three incline plank variations, all for 30 seconds each, but wedged in between those, we're gonna do some box jumps, stair jumps, or step ups if we need to. Let's get to our first plank variation. Stack those shoulders directly over top of those wrists so there's a straight line from your ear all the way down to that ankle, keeping that core tight and those hips nice and stable. From here, it's a plank jack. So you're gonna jump your feet out and then jump them back together. Again, trying not to bounce up and down, really using that core to drive the movement. Your option, as you can see John doing, stepping out and stepping back in. Again, 30 seconds there. Your next incline plank variation will be your Spider-Man. So stay in that same set position, you're gonna lift one leg and drive your knee to the outside of the same elbow and then alternate bes between sides really working on those obliques. Your last plank variation is going to be that blast off plank. So as you see Johnny's gonna bend through his knees, drop towards those heels and then shoot himself forward back to that high plank position. Again slow movement here, drop into those heels and then blast off catching yourself in that high plank position. Those are your three variations. Now remember we did talk about wedging that jump squat in between. So make sure again you're on that stable surface. You're gonna line yourself up in front of that box or stairs, drop into those heels and then explode up onto that box and step back down. Your option of course if jumping is not for you is to simply step up, step back down and then alternate between those legs as you work through those 30 seconds. We've got 10 minutes of work, let's get to it. Thank you. 
Coach Didi, how do you feel about Power Days? They get me hyped up for sure. Awesome, because we have an ab block that's similar to what you might see on a power day. It's eight minutes long with four exercises. We're going to start with a heavier weight. We're going to start seated position. So this variation of the seated torso rotation is going to have your legs lifted off the ground. The weight's going to tap the ground on each side before you slow and control rotate through the center. An option is to get rid of the weight and do body weight instead. 30 total reps. Then we're going to take it to a standing position with the same weight for our wood choppers, all about rotation. So we're gonna drive the weight up, we're gonna rotate towards the, through the toe, and then chop like an ax through the middle down to the opposite side. The belly stays tight, 15 on each side. And then we're gonna take it back down to the mat, same weight, for a resistance single leg V up. So the weight goes up overhead, we're gonna meet it and crunch one leg at a time, lower down slow and controlled, get that power, and then tempo it out. We've got 12 total reps here. Then we're gonna get rid of the heavy weight and go for a little bit lighter weight, hollow hold figure eight. Hollow hold means the belly button is pulled in, the chest is tall and the shoulders are lifted. We're gonna pass the weight in and out through the knees in a figure eight style. 12 total passes. All of these exercises you can rest, recover, and get right back to work. We ready for it? Yes. Let's do it team. You wanna
Now it's time for your flexibility block. Denise, I think you earned it, right? I hope so. You definitely did. So three stretches, 20 seconds on each side. As always, we are going to demo and then you will follow suit. Make sure you don't fast forward through this part. First one, I know you love to cook. So we have this beautiful rolling pin for your first stretch. You're going to have a standing overhead reach. So in that standing set position, we're gonna raise that rolling pin up over your head and slightly rotate to the side, letting your head follow the direction of your spine. 20 seconds on each side. After that, I know you love it, but let's drop it to the side. You wanna be a cactus? Sure. Beautiful. We're going to do a chest stretch. So raising your arms up over your head, nice and high. You're gonna bend your elbows 90 degrees, opening up your chest. If you wanna feel even a little bit more of a pull, pressing your wrist just back a tiny bit more, making sure that you're breathing here. Third stretch, you're gonna take a seat all the way down to the ground for your seated toe reach here. So sitting up nice and tall up on your sit bones with your feet flexed, she's going to slowly raise her arms up, hinging at her hips until her range of motion allows, keeping that back nice and flat. Once she reaches there, then she'll lower her arms. So slowly but surely, she's feeling that stretch in her hamstrings. As she continues to flex her feet, she'll feel it a little bit in those calves. Now, you worked hard, so let's earn, continue to earn that recovery. 